Time to try it. That is good. So I was cleaning out my uh, china cupboard the other day and I'm just going through each of my little pieces. I, I have this uh, salad plate that I bought thanks to uh, Stephanie Jarvis from Chateau Tyrese. It's a Limoges uh, uh, porcelain salad plate. And I saw my grandma's Bavarian china, my great grandma Allen's Bavarian china and all these adorable little pieces. And then there it was my mom's birthday cake plate. It was her birthday just last week. So of course I had to make an angel food cake for myself and it will be a gluten-free angel food cake because I don't want to die. I don't want to eat wheat and get sick. So um, here it is. Here is me making an angel food cake. All right, one well-sifted uh, angel food cake ingredient here. So here are my egg whites. If I were Mary Berry, I'd stick this in here and then hold it over my head. <laughs> So I'm gonna gently fold in my sifted flour mixture into my egg and sugar. Okay, now that this is all mixed, I put this in my ungreased angel food cake pan. All right, now we're just gonna put this in the oven for 35 minutes at 350 degrees. I found the recipe on glutenfreeonashoestring.com. Go there, check it out. Give her some hits on her uh, blog. Angel food cake, my mom loved angel food cake, and it would have been her 83rd birthday last week. And so in honor of mom, we're making a gluten-free angel food cake. Now, my sisters have never, well, I know Karen has never been a fan of angel food cake, but I've always loved it. It, it seems like summer to me. Mom would always have us buy one. I don't think she's ever made one that I, or she ever made one that I that I remember, and some strawberries and some whipped cream and cut up the berries and, and macerate them in sugar and then spray the whipped cream. Oh, it was so good. <laughs> we wouldn't spray whipped cream because she wouldn't buy that kind. And then she'd buy the whipped cream in the tub <laughs> and we'd dish out the whipped cream and put it on top of the angel food cake and it was always so delicious. I know it was one of her favorite treats and apparently it had been one of her favorite treats most of her her life because when it got to be around her birthday time she'd tell us that she always asked her mama to make her an angel food cake when she was growing up she was born before world war ii so i'm sure that was an expensive an expensive cake i've discovered that it takes a dozen eggs in an angel food cake And I'm thinking that's how you're supposed to cool it upside down on its little feet. <sighs> and a story that she would always tell too from her childhood is going blackberry picking with her mom and her mom would take and they'd have to wear long sleeves and long pants and her mom would take uh, twine and tie up her uh, her shirt sleeves and her pant legs so that um, they wouldn't worry about getting bit by a snake. Mom was terrified of snakes. I don't know if it started with the wild blackberry picking with her with her mom back in the day or or if it was just uh, something she was always afraid of. Something else just randomly that I remember her being afraid of was uh, 
the bull. Gosh, she was afraid of bulls, which I mean, yeah, I, I can imagine, wouldn't you? I think the story goes she and her mom had gotten into the bullpen and instead of um, slowly walking away, they panicked and ran. Ah! <laughs> That would be like the dumbest thing to do. And that's exactly what they did. Oh, one more really fun story is that on a uh, harvest, harvest day. So grandpa and grandma, they were farmers up in Iowa. I know he raised hogs, but he also grew corn. And on harvest day, it was a big, is it threshing day maybe is what it was actually called? Threshing day and they'd have a big like threshing day party and they'd have all these uh all the local farmers and friends and family would come and they'd uh the men would be out in the field working and the ladies would be inside and they'd be cooking up the best home cooked country meal you can think of they'd have a uh, mom would say her favorite meal in the world fried chicken green beans mashed potatoes and gravy <laughs> biscuits and uh, probably there'd probably be a pie for dessert. They'd come in to get dinner and uh, hooked to the to the trees. They had a mirror and uh, a wash basin set up and the guys would come in and wash their hands and wash their face out in the open air and then um, come on in for for that delicious home cooked meal. Gosh, times are so different now, aren't they? All right, here is our cake. It's been cooling. Big knife. Here. The porcelain plate in want of an angel food cake. Tastes just like an angel food cake. How about that? All right, guys, if you liked what you've seen here, think about subscribing and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.